We're approaching the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrim's arrival on the Mayflower. We know who the Pilgrims were and why they came to the New World. Their legacy and their descendants are well documented. More than 5% of the U.S. population owes their existence to the Mayflower passengers. Unfortunately, the majority of what we know about the Pilgrims comes from their lives in America. Their historic record really doesn't begin until they leave England. Before they sailed, their story is mostly a mystery. There used to be a commercial for spaghetti sauce where one guy asks, does it have real onion and spices? And the other guy replies, it's in there. DNA is like that. Can you tell if I'm related? It's in the DNA. What about the old world ethnicity? It's in the DNA. What about it's in the DNA? It's all in there. It's all in there. The answer to where the pilgrims lived is hidden among their 20 million descendants. It's in their DNA. Advances over the last decade in genetic technologies allow us to peel back the curtain and reveal the origins of these historic families. Examine the DNA of any two people, and we can tell if they had a common ancestor 300 years ago or 3,000 years ago. A person's ethnic heritage is discovered when we compare their DNA to a larger population. Add geographic information to the mix, and we can calculate the location of their English homeland. It's possible that just a few hundred years earlier, the Pilgrims' ancestors didn't even live in England. In this book, we'll identify the DNA and trace the genetic ancestry of 20 families that sailed aboard the Mayflower. By itself, DNA is not enough. Traditional genealogy is also required. Direct paternal and maternal line descendants will be featured. Both family histories and genes need to come together to confirm the Pilgrim connections. You may want to cover your ears for this next section. Some folks believe they are Mayflower descendants, and unfortunately, they aren't. Some folks don't know that they really are descendants because they don't have a Pilgrim surname. DNA can't tell you where your genealogy is wrong, and it can't fill in the gaps if it's incomplete. What DNA can do is answer the question, am I related? William Brewster was the patriarch of the Pilgrims. He was probably from Scrooby, Nottinghamshire, England. The DNA from his genetic cousins support that story. It places Brewster's family in Nottinghamshire and neighboring Yorkshire. The DNA also shows a Scandinavian ethnicity. Putting all the pieces together tells us that William Brewster's ancestors were probably part of a Viking invasion. For each pilgrim in the book, we will learn about their genetic signature and how to identify if you are related. My goal is to narrow down their English homeland to within 50 kilometers, determine their ethnicity, and find out where their ancestors were before they were English. Along the way, we'll talk about Celts, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, Normans, and more. In addition to all the publishing activities, your participation will support the research needed to validate the DNA for each pilgrim. In return, you'll get exclusive access to the field notes on the Before They Sailed website. Please help fund this book and make it a reality. Thank you.